What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video, I'm Cypher and today's project was more of an experiment for me to see how much I can achieve with this device I made. I will show you how I built it, also we will test the codes that I wrote for this project together. As always, you can find the code for my project on my GitHub and if the project gets attention and I see you guys like it, I will open source the PCB file as well. This project is a combination of Arduino Micro and W55000 Ethernet module. Once the hardware is done, I'll show you the code I wrote for it, including ARP spoofing, network scanning to discover devices on the network, and local rubber ducky. I should mention the last one was a bad idea. I designed this PCB with Altium Designer and it is a simple two-layer PCB. In this project, I use the Atmega 32U4 as a microcontroller to handle the communication with the W55000 Ethernet chip. The Atmega 32U4 with its built-in USB support made it easy to program and interface with my computer for monitoring and control purposes. To provide the 3.3V needed for the W55000, I used an LM1117 voltage regulator. To ensure a stable 3.3V output from a higher input voltage, making it ideal for powering the Ethernet chip. I used W55000 for network connectivity, which provides reliable and efficient network capabilities with its integrated hardware TCP IP stack making it ideal for handling network related tasks in this project. Before we dive deeper into the project, I want to give a big shout out to GLC PCB for sponsoring this video. GLC PCB has been a game changer for PCB prototyping and manufacturing, offering high quality 6 layer PCBs that include advanced features like via impact technology. This technology enhances electrical performance, ensures robust connections, and provides greater flexibility in routing, especially under BGA components. Simply head over to glcpcb.com, upload your PCB design files, select your preferences, and your custom PCBs are on their way to you in no time. And here's the best part, if you sign up using the link in the description down below, you'll receive a $60 new user coupon. And now back to the video. We need a 25 MHz crystal oscillator for precise timing and RJ45 Ethernet socket with integrated status LEDs for visual indication of network activity. These components work together to provide efficient networking capabilities, making the W55000 an ideal choice for managing network related tasks. We also need to include passive components such as capacitors and resistors for filtering and stabilizing the power supply. The W55000 and the Atmega 32U4 microcontroller communicate through the SPI protocol. This setup ensures quick and reliable data transfer, allowing the Atmega 32U4 to efficiently handle network communication and manage both incoming and outgoing data packets. The USB-A ports allows for easy programming and direct communication with the computer, helping us with both power supply and data transfer. After the soldering was done, I cleaned the board with my toothbrush. And I had to say, my teeth were a bit jealous of the attention. Comparing the prototype and the final result, I think it turned out great. It's time to test it with the first code I wrote for it, the one I like to call the bad idea. My first instinct when I saw that I was designing a project that had HID and connected to my local network was to think of rubber ducky, which in this scenario function as a local rubber ducky. The Atmega 32U4 microcontroller, known for its USB HID capabilities, allows the device to act like a keyboard or mouse injecting pre-programmed keystrokes into a connected computer. The second code I wrote for it was an ARP spoofer. This was a test for me to see how much this device could offer. By leveraging the Atmega 32U4 processing power and the W55000 network capabilities, I was able to create a tool that could inject malicious ARP packets into the network. Of course, it wasn't that powerful. 
The last code was for network scanning to discover devices on the network by using ARP or address resolution protocol. It works by sending ARP requests to all IP addresses within a specific range, asking who has IP address X, tell me your MAC address, and device with the IP address respond with their MAC address, allowing the scanner to identify active devices on the network. You can test this code if you like, you can find the code and schematic on my GitHub or website. If you have any idea to make them better, I would greatly appreciate your input. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this project or have any idea to make it better, please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the link in the description down below for more details and resources. And see you guys in the next video.